Hey guys, how you guys doing out there? I'd like to welcome you guys to another Faith Fox podcast. I have been on a roll for the last four to five days creating these podcasts. And, you know, every morning, just to kind of give you a testimony of what God does every single morning, is that we have um, our one-on-one prayer time. And it just be, in the mornings, me and God be cracking jokes. He just be letting me, uh, just let me think of certain things and... <laughs> And I just be laughing, like, early in the morning. We we be having, it's just almost like a roasting. Now, he don't be roasting me and stuff like that, but it's just it's a com- it's just a comedy session or something like that. It's almost like being at an improv or, or being at, uh, like, Chocolate Sundays or something. This is the kind of stuff me and God be doing. That's why I want to tell you guys, you guys can have a relationship with God that's so am- amazing and hilarious. That, I mean, you you enjoy to spend time with him in the morning because God definitely, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, definitely has a sense of humor that will literally have you bawling laughing. I'll be laughing so hard. <laughs> and uh, so God gave me this podcast. Uh, again, let me just introduce myself. I'm Tim Edwards. I'm the founder of Kingston Games. It's a video gaming company startup that I'm believing, uh, God, that I'm going to have the biggest video gaming company, Christian video gaming company in the world. And uh, Faith Fox is one of the IPs uh, that are that is on this um, platform. And so God just gave me Faith Fox to be able to activate your faith, put your, you know, to put your faith in motion. It's something about when you put your faith in motion, uh, it's just the things God do. You know, without faith, it's impossible to please God. You have to use your faith in order to please him. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to have fun doing it. So, um, okay, so this podcast is going to be, I think it's going to be pretty humorous. I already asked the Holy Spirit to help me to be funny in this. And uh, <laughs> and so, okay, so I, I got to laugh at what the enemy just got through doing. Okay, the other day uh, I went outside to start my car and I realized that my car doesn't have a turbo on it. It doesn't have, I didn't put any straight pipes on it. I didn't put any dual exhaust. It's just a Toyota convertible. You know, I don't know if people just hating on me because I got a convertible. I don't know. But all I know was I started my car up. Next thing you know, it sounded like a cyber truck. Bring on the cyber truck. <laughs> It was so loud, man. Like, the, my truck was, I mean, my car. <laughs> but it sounded like it. I say my truck, but it's my car that sounded like a truck. You know what that mean? When your car was quiet as a mouse, you started it up and it's purring like a kid. The next thing you know, it's barking like a bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> it's because some. <laughs> I can't even say it. Somebody stole my Cadillac converter. Again, somebody stole my Cadillac converter. And I don't know if it's Cadillac tick converter or Cadillac converter. I don't know the proper way of saying it. That's why yesterday, (laughs) my manager over here, she was saying like, are you saying you got a Cadillac? <laughs> like, no, no, it's not a Cadillac. It's a Toyota. She said, "Why you say Cadillac though?" <laughs> like, it's it's a Cadillac converter. <laughs> she said, "What's that?" <laughs> like, it's the thing that hooks up to your engine into your muffler system, so your car doesn't sound like a raging bull or a bulldog. <laughs> she said. What are you going to do about it? Are you guys going to reimburse me the cost of getting me another one? Or do we need to find the thieves that stole it? (laughs) So this is the reason why I'm doing this podcast is because I want to find the thieves that stole my Cadillac converter. And whatever way you want to take Cadillac, whether Cadillac car or Cadillac converter, Cadillac converter, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Is to make your car sounds like, you know, when it's not on there, it sounds hideous. When it's on there, it's quiet as a mouse. <laughs> but anyway, 
So that's the name of this podcast. They stole my Cadillac converter, y'all. They stole it. And uh, I'm not happy about that. So so what we're going to do, we're going to be coming out of a couple of verses of Scripture. One, we're going to be coming out of Psalms 94. Okay. And two, we're going to be coming out of Proverbs 631. And we're going to talk about what God is going to do uh, to the enemy if he don't pay it back. I told somebody yesterday when I went to um, AutoZone, one of the, you know, AutoZone, you know, advanced auto auto parts or whatever. I went in there and I said, hey, I'm pricing these Cadillac converters. Uh, again, forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, Cadillac converter. Anyway, I priced it, went over there, asked the guy, uh, hey, how much it costs for a Cadillac converter for a Toyota convertible, whatever, blah, blah, blah. He looks it up and it came out to being... Almost seven hundred dollars. <laughs> seven hundred dollars. Oh, are you kidding me? And I was like, even if I had the seven hundred dollars, I don't want to put seven hundred dollars into a Cadillac converter. Then I have to pay for the labor to get it put on there. But you know what hit me as I was standing up there talking to the the nice clerk guy that was helping me out that looked up the prices of the Cadillac converter on the computer screen. I just started venting. I started venting to this guy. I said, you know what? I want the people that stole my Cadillac converter to just bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Because you know what you did? You stole from the wrong believer. You know what I did when I found out that my car sounded like a dragon when I started it up? You know what I ended up doing? I started rebuking the, the devil. I started rebuking the demon spirit that was inside of the person that stole my Cadillac converter. I said something should have snapped in his head like, I better not mess with that Cadillac converter on that boy car. <laughs> I mean, because I pray hard against my enemies. I'm like David. We don't let our enemies slide. <laughs> we just don't. I go to God like, God, I need you to make him drop my Cadillac converter I need him, as he trying to cut it off, make one, make one of his fingers go off with it. <laughs> cause, cause him to drop. Make some of the Cadillac converter dust or the exhaust that come from the uh, Cadillac converter. Make it go in his eyes and blind him. <laughs> make him get, <laughs> have respiratory problems because of the fumes. Because he messed around and cut the gas line. And... He, I'm saying he needed to injure himself for taking my Cadillac converter. Shouldn't have took it. And, I took, and they started laughing at AutoZone. And I was like, they need to just bring it back. And not only do I want them to bring it back, I want you to bring it back and hook it back up. <laughs> Free labor. <laughs> you stole it. I didn't tell you to steal my Cadillac converter. I found you. You got caught. You better bring it back, and I want you to get right back up under there because I need to see how you got under there in the first place to get it because I don't see how they get under there to get it that fast. And, you know, how, how you know I didn't come out to my car at that time and see you up under there? It would have been a whole nother situation. I would have been kicking you all with my tires and stuff be gone. <laughs> I would have I stuffed you back in my motor or something. <laughs> something would have happened, man. But I'm just saying, I don't get the timing of these Cadillac converter thieves. Like, I can come out, I can come out of my house at any time and catch you, man. But I guess they, I guess they got a plan for that. I guess that's why they, somebody told me they they turn on the bright lights and stuff like that to kind of blind you, so the visual. Because we got cameras over in this property where I'm at. But the way they got their car angled in a certain way, makes it to where they're blinded by when they steal stuff. <laughs> but still, I'm like, man, bring me. I don't. I, I didn't catch the guy, but God caught him. I know you're somewhere struggling. <laughs> guy, right? You might have stole all these Cadillac convertibles from all of these different cars, and then it get down to mine. He'd be like, man, I'm having a hard time getting rid of this one. <laughs> yeah, you gonna have a hard time getting rid of this. One. <laughs> Cause this one got the blood of Jesus on it, and your blood for trying to cut it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. The devil gotta pay. They stole my Cadillac converter, y'all. 
But anyway, I'm telling you, <laughs> don't go around stealing somebody can't like converter. So, okay, yesterday I was going to file a police report, so I did. And the police was like, hey, you know you can go online and you can file a police report online. And, you know, I guess he didn't feel like doing the paperwork that was associated with it. And I was kind of scared anyway. <laughs> They even given my information for any reason, you know what I'm saying? I don't want them to be like, you know, I see you filing a police report for the Cadillac Convertible. You need to be filing one for you. <laughs> but look, I'm not a troublemaker, so. <laughs> but you know how these cops out here in Texas, ooh wee <laughs> I'm a cop, and I think I got all the power and authority in the world, and I'm the big bad guy. Or I'm going to get the big bad guys, but you know how them guys be acting. And the girls be acting tough out here. They got to let everybody know they're a police officer type. But anyway, <laughs> man, I might have to do a little bit of compression in this uh, podcast because the volume is up kind of loud. But anyway, but anyway, yeah, I, I was starting to give a police report and he was like, oh, you can go online, you know, you can file a report online and all that. Maybe the place this property will pay for the 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 fact that it's a metal or whatever it is. They may it may cover it in the insurance. I know my insurance, car insurance, don't pay that. But hopefully, I don't know. But anyway, I want the guy that stole it to bring it back. I know it's probably not possible but the bible say if the enemy is caught stealing he got to come and pay that back seven times seven fold seven figures <laughs> but uh yeah i'm looking for him to pay that back so and hook it back up and pick one of his fingers up that he cut off accidentally by taking my cat like a bird but anyway that's a whole nother thing but anyway let me go ahead and we're already 12 minutes into this podcast man i'll be having so much fun i'm gonna stop at that 15 minute mark though I'm not going to bore y'all out there. Y'all attention span ain't long enough for me. <laughs> so I got to get in and get out. <laughs> but anyway, let me read Proverbs 30 real, real quick. Just to, um, It talks about the thief. Okay, when the thief is stealing, if he's stealing for food to satisfy his hunger, then okay, that don't, don't, don't judge him or don't come against him. But if he is caught, he will pay back sevenfold. And he will... You know, and he will give all his goods of his house. He's going to have to pay back sevenfold if he's caught now. The Bible says if he's, if, he, if he's caught and he's trying to get it to satisfy his hunger, don't mess with him. But if he get caught for anything else, like these guys here probably was on drugs or whatever. I don't know what they did, but I don't know why they stole my Cadillac converter. They say that in the black market they're worth few hundred dollars or maybe five, six, seven, eight hundred. I don't know, but I'm saying he shouldn't have stole it. It looked like he wasn't doing it for hunger, may have done it for drugs, but either way, it's not right. The Lord say hunger, not drugs. <laughs> I don't know why you stole it, but you're going to pay back, you're going to pay me back seven times, seven fold, seven figures, and the enemy is going to do it because he the one that made you do it. That demon that jumped inside of your body to make you go up under my car, I don't know how you was able to squeeze under there because my car is too, you had to be a little man to be a woman to get under there. <laughs> it's my car is to the ground. It's almost like a low rider. How you was able to slide under there? So you got a jack. I don't even see how you was able to put the jack up under there. But anyway, um, I wanted to go into this other scripture, man, before I got too far out there. Um, and that was going to be in uh, Proverbs 6, uh, 31. Uh, that's what I just got through reading. It was going to be in Psalms 94. But anyway, I, I'm not going to be able to go over Psalms, um, Psalms 94 because of the time. But I will say this. You know, they say that Elon Musk just bought Twitter. I think that is the wackest move you can make as an investor. And I feel like he is one of these demon spirits that God is going to get rid of. I just believe it. I just do not like this guy because he's not a believer. Or whatever he is, I don't get it. But he shouldn't have bought that. And I believe that it's not going to go anywhere. That deal is not going to go anywhere. And I hope that he ain't buy it. I hope it's just a rumor. You know, because God knows how to sabotage and stop evildoers from building the Tower of Babel. That's all I got to say about that. You ain't going to be evil and go out there and build bigger barns and think you're going to get away with it. 
But anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning into another podcast. This is They Stole My Cadillac Converter by Faith Fox. And you guys tune in to the next one. Subscribe to the channel. Love you.